Landowners in Franklin County say they are still fighting to stop the Mountain Valley Pipeline from coming onto their property. That's following a setback Monday when the state Supreme Court refused to hear a case on the constitutionality of Virginia's survey laws. So now an archaeologist is offering free services to put another obstacle in the project's path. And WSLS 10's Rob Manch has that story. The Bernards live on a two-acre space of land in Franklin County that they just learned recently contains a piece of history. They found uh, evidence of uh, uh, the ar uh, archaic period and the uh, woodland period over in this field over here. Native American remains that date back thousands of years, and they would have never known they were there were it not for archaeologist Mark Joyner donating his services for free. If they don't know they're there, then they're going to just be destroyed one after another with destroyed by machinery that would be used to put the Mountain Valley pipeline straight through the Bernard's property. I said, how big is the uh, equipment that you're going to bring in here? And he said, it's going to be bigger than anything I'd ever seen. So I told him that absolutely no, I did not want them to come down my driveway. The Bernards are one of 20 properties Joyner says he surveyed in Franklin County alone pro bono. He helped the Bernards document the fines as well. Those will be sent to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission that has to review the pipeline's potential impacts. Bernard's wife Ann says they are also submitting environmental concerns. We were finally able to, uh, about five years ago, get this well, this well drilled right here and uh, it was a big deal for us, and now the pipeline is going to be coming right next to it. The Mountain Valley Pipeline responded to some of these concerns Thursday, saying the surveying activity the company is now legally allowed to conduct will help identify and preserve the type of resources like those on the Bernard's property. Of course, the Bernards aren't the only ones opposing the Mountain Valley Pipeline. They say the project is expected to cross 144 different watersheds in Franklin County alone. FERC will need to consider all of that environmental and historic data before approving or denying the project. That decision is expected to be made this summer. In Franklin County, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.